Do you know how firefighters put out fires? Well, honestly, I don't. But today I'm going to show you a method that helps you put out your own fire at home without blowing it. Let's get started. The materials needed are vinegar, baking soda, a jar, preferably longer one, a candle, and a lighter to light the candle. You already lighted it. So the first step is put the baking soda into the jar. Then pour the vinegar into the jar. Quickly close the jar to, to save the gas. Okay, nope, that. <coughs> okay, that's funny. Close it to save the gas. <laughs> and when it's subsided and there's very little bubbles, we are going to pour pour the gas onto the candle flames. Okay, we got it this fast. Sort of pour the gas and look, the candle is dimming and it's up. We didn't even touch the candle. We didn't even blow on it. But make sure when you are pouring to not pour the liquid out as this may cause harm. Just now I've shown you how to put out a candle the easy way. Let's move on to the explanations. The explanation. How does it work? When you mix baking soda and vinegar, what is produced? That's right, it's carbon dioxide. When you cover the bottle, you prevent the carbon dioxide from diffusing in the air outside. But first, you must know two important facts. One, fire needs oxygen to survive, much like us humans. Two, carbon dioxide molecules are heavier than oxygen molecules. So, as you pour the gas out, this happens. The carbon dioxide molecules push away the oxygen molecules as they come out of the bottle. This happens because they are heavier than the oxygen molecules. Without oxygen, the flame dies. This is how the experiment works. What we have learned today. Baking soda plus vinegar equals carbon dioxide. Fire needs oxygen to survive. And lastly, Carbon dioxide molecules are heavier than oxygen molecules.